we, we have to take the perpendicular distance this one that is one third into six and which creates of anti-clockwise nature so minus sign which is equal to zero and if you will solve this equation rav is equals to we will obtain the answer as the same answer we got in the previous case if we we'll solve over here 2 goes off 60 by 6 that is the 10 kilo newton so please see over here by taking the moment either at a point if you see the previous figure if we take a moment at a point we will find out the rb if we are taking the moment at b point we will able to find out ra and answers remains unchanged in both the cases so we will take a moment at any point to found out the unknown parameter that is the reactions i wish you would understood this problem better way let us we go for the next problem so that you understood once again the next few problems problem number four yes type of beam simply supported beam by default as one end is hinge another end is roller subjected to yeah subjected to a concentrated moment at center of beam acting concentrated moment at the center of beam 10 kilo newton into meter only moment is acting on this beam not a single load is acting throughout the length of the beam and our intention is to found out the reactions let us simplify the figure yes let us be solve over here now uh, first equilibrium condition sigma h is equal to 0 over here switch over here if we are taking sigma h is equal to 0 precisely carefully look at over here this is the moment is acting at the center point not a single horizontal force acting throughout the length of beam so if i will take sigma h is equal to 0 we are able to find out r a h we will find out r a h is equal to 0 because no horizontal force is acting another condition sigma v is equal to 0 this is the reaction r a v this is the reaction r b first reaction that is r a v which is acting upward so i will say r a v which is treated as positive anybody any other force is acting along the length of the beam no not a single load which is acting on this beam but another reaction rb is there so plus rb is equal to zero oh surprise the value comes to be zero why zero rav plus rb is equal to zero this zero it means that in this particular beam not a single vertical load is acting now let us we take as our normal procedure sigma ma is equal to 0 taking the all the forces moment at this point is 0 rah into 0 0 rav into 0 0 now this 10 kilo newton into meter which is acting over here what is the moment generated by this at this particular point a guess this direct moment has been given to you what is the moment generated at a by this value of 10 
it is by default 10 not a single value that is perpendicular distance we have to multiply because it is the direct value moment which has been given to you so here we do not have to multiply by any distance acting clockwise as per our sign convention treated as positive the another force that is reaction rb generated anti clockwise that is minus rb into perpendicular distance 4 why 4 because this is force force multiplied by perpendicular distance is the moment this is direct moment has been given to you this is force has been given to you which is equal to 0 and we found out rb is equal to 10 by 4 that is 2.5 kilo newton rb we achieve as 2.5 kilo newton and comes sign as positive positive sign means our assumed direction upward is right now if we will put rb as 2.5 in this equation, we will definitely achieve RAV as minus 2.5 kilo Newton. Surprisingly, term minus. What is the significance of minus? Minus sign suggests that our assumed direction of RAV, that is of upward, is wrong. Means, finally, the RAV is of acting downward. This is the meaning of the statement. Let us see over here. So now, sigma v is 0. We found out the same equation. Rav plus Rb is equal to 0. And if we take sigma ma is equal to 0, we will be able to find out Rb as 2.5. But Rav is of minus 2.5. Hence, Rav is minus means it is of downward direction. I think it will be clear to you what is the significance of minus sign or negative sign. Let us go for the next problem. Problem number 5. Given beam is of a simply supported beam having a combination of UV, UDL and point load. And let us resolve this numerical with the help of the equilibrium conditions. The length, total length is of simply supported beam having a length of 6 meter, subjected to UDL of 10 kN per meter in the central region, while this 20 and 50 kN two point loads are acting associated at the length of 1 meter and at the length at the end of 5 meter. Next figure. Now, let us resolve this numerical using the equilibrium conditions. Sigma h, sigma h is equal to 0, R a h is equal to 0 because no horizontal force is acting in this particular system. See the previous case no horizontal force which is acting in this system so rh comes to be zero let us take next one sigma v is equal to zero if we will take sigma v is equal to zero then first one is rav acting upward minus 20 which is acting downward minus this 10 that is udl length is 4 meters so minus 10 into 4 acting downward minus 50 which is acting downward plus rav is equal to 0 so we will achieve one equation that is rav plus rb is equal to 110 kilo newton using sigma v is equal to 0 we have to use this third equation to found out any one of the reaction if we take sigma a is equal to 0, we will able to obtain rb and if we take sigma mb is equal to 0, we will achieve rav. So, let us right now, we will take 
sigma m a is equal to 0 in this figure. Let's right now do the problem same over here. This is the given beam. Fifty kilo newton, twenty kilo newton, one meter length, four meter length, and one meter RAV and rb are the reactions rah v comes to be zero as there is no any another forces acting in this particular system we obtain this one equation rav plus rb is equal to 110 kilo newton using sigma v is equal to zero let us take sigma ma is equal to zero rah into zero zero rav into zero it is zero because we are taking the moment at a let us take the moment for the next load 20. So, 20 into 1 that is the moment at A specifically of clockwise nature treated as positive. Now, if we will convert this UDL in terms of equivalent point load then it is of 10 into 4. So, this 10 into 4 that is the total load UDL acting downward created a moment is of clockwise nature positive some distance we have to write over here. What is that distance? This distance is of 4 by 2. Then this is nothing but 1 plus 4 by 2. This is the perpendicular distance for this equivalent point load from A. Third load that is of 50 kilo Newton. That is of plus 50 into perpendicular distance 1 plus 4 created clockwise nature hence positive sign rb create anti clockwise moment minus rb into distance 1 plus 4 plus 1 6 is equal to 0 so we will achieve one equation one unknown rb only unknown and we will able to found out the value of rb See over here and we found out using this equation rb comes to be 65 kilo newton once we got the value of rb as 65 kilo newton we have to put this value in this equation rav plus rb is equal to 110 rb is known we can found out rav is equal to 110 minus rb that is of 65 and hence we obtain rav is equal to 45 kilo newton so, from this we can say that it is using the three equilibrium conditions it is very easy to find out the unknown parameter that is the support reaction. Next that is problem 6 number. Next problem, problem number 6, the given beam, which kind of beam is given to us over here? Yes, it is the given beam is of overhanging beam is given to us because this much projection of beam 1.5 meter which is acting beyond the 
support so a part of beam which is beyond the support hence the given beam is of overhanging beam subjected to udl as well as the point load and our intention is to found out the support reaction that is rah rav as well as the rb the length is of 1 meter 1.2 meter 3 meter and which is 1.5 meter the distance between a and b is of 3 plus 1 4 5.2 meter simplified figure now if we take the first equation sigma h is equal to 0 there is no a single load which is acting horizontal so r h comes to be 0 now next one sigma v is equal to 0 then r a v which is acting upward so r a v minus 20 minus 50 into 4.5 that is the total load because of u d l plus r b is equal to 0 and we will achieve one equation based on that that is r a v plus r b is equal to 245 kilo newton 245 kilo newton now let us we take sigma m a is equal to 0 and check it out what is the answer of r b here A joint and B joint. Let us we take sigma M A is equal to 0. Obviously, the effect of R A V and R A H is 0 at A joint. This 20 creates certain moment at A, specifically of clockwise nature, plus 20 into 1. The another load that is of 50, if we will convert this 50 in terms